Welcome back to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. My name is Bob, and we are on day six, the final day of Iceland Week. This has been so much fun, and I've really, really enjoyed getting to know all these new artists. If for some reason one of these videos got blocked, this may only be day five. <laughs> but usually in 30 days or so, I can try to clear them, but we'll have to see. But right now, Everything I've uploaded has cleared, so we're good so far. So keeping my fingers crossed. So this will be the final video, one way or the other. So a couple things before I get going. I want to mention, um, I'm really enjoying these weeks where we just spent a whole week going over videos. I've done Norway, Sweden, Iceland. I'm going to change it up a little bit. I think in the next coming months, I'm going to be doing a 70s week where I'm going to take a week, five, six days, and do a look back on some old 70s bands that I really enjoy. I thought that might be fun. And then one I'm really looking forward to, I'm going to do a psychedelic rock week, which also I think will be a lot of fun. Especially, I just need to, I've done a lot of newer music and more modern artists. I think it's time I kind of go back in the 70s and kind of go back to what I grew up with and kind of relive some of those and try to find some cool live cuts. Obviously, I know the songs but I'm going to try to find some live cuts, so that should be fun. So, okay, so today, for the final day of Iceland Week, and I finally get to take this shirt off, <laughs> we're going to go pretty far back on this one, too. The band is Retro Stepson, 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 I think, Retro Stepson. Um, they've been together, I think, since 2006, but I don't think they're anymore. I think they're broken up. They were an alternative pop rock band. I know they had... According to what I researched, they had like four albums out. And you know what? Thinking about Iceland and looking at the population of Iceland, it's pretty amazing that I've been able to choose between as many artists and songs that I've been able to. You would think with the population that it is that I'd have like two people to choose from. and um, But no, not at all. The only artists I didn't do that I really felt pressure was Bjork, and but the thing is, everyone knows her or them. I guess it's her, and I just felt like I wanted to introduce myself and you guys to some new bands in case you hadn't heard them. So I hope that worked out for you. So okay, let me get my headphones on, and we're gonna get into retro stuff. Hold on. Okay, we are back for day six, it's, and I'm really excited. We're getting near the end. And the band is Retro Stefson. I believe that's what it's pronounced. And guys, if you get a chance, please just go right down at the bottom of this video and click my thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. The more thumbs up I get, it helps the YouTube algorithms, which means more people will see my videos and more thumbs up I'll get and round and round we go. So anything you could do just to take that one second and click that thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. So let's get into this. The name of this song is Glow. This is the official video. And uh, let's see what this is about. Here we go. Yeah. 
the humanity. Okay, I got to pause it here. I will back it up because look how far we are into the song already. Oh, the tragedy of that ice cream falling. I've had that happen. But that's where dogs come in. If you have a dog, they are more than happy to clean up that mess. <laughs> they love the ice cream, don't they? You know, when I listen to a <laughs> when I listen to a band for the first time, there's a number of things that I normally listen for. Um, normally, that would be melody and lyrics. Those are obviously at the top of the list. On this song, though, I think the instrumentation and the production almost seemed to be more in the forefront. Did you guys get that? Uh, overall, the sounds seem very balanced to me. I don't hear one aspect of the song necessarily overpowering another part. But on the flip side, the different aspects of the song seem very complementary to each other. I like that a lot because you had those electronic drums or whatever it is that I think was really driving the song. And then you had like these more mellow lyrics and those two you wouldn't think necessarily would go together, but they do and they complement each other. They create this almost cohesive, smooth sound and I'm just loving the energy it's created. This is really nice so far. I will back it up just a little bit so we can kind of get into the flow of it again a little bit more. So here we go and I'll play this to the end, okay? Okay, that was interesting. Um, <laughs> you know what? It called me weird, but for some reason, I find it very relaxing to walk a bike, to watch a bike just strolling around the neighborhood. Um, I used to be the guy in the bike a lot. I used to do a lot of biking, so maybe I just was attracted to that. I just I love biking. It's such a relaxing and it allows you to really take some time and just open your mind up and let it wander as you're riding. It's great. The only thing that breaks that nice melancholy feel is that car at the end that was throwing up all the pink smoke. But uh, that was kind of fun. It had little complexity to the song and the video, which I like. The odd thing about this song is that I think the lyrics are maybe, at least from what I'm hearing, a little more harsh than the music makes it out to be. And I find that contrast quite interesting. It's like mood dissonance that causes at some level the release of the tension it's very interesting and it does create this very unique mood i think it's very possible i just might have messed up on the lyrics mm -hmm. so this is only my first time listening to it so stick with me but that's kind of what i got out of it i enjoyed this a lot and uh let me get my headphones off and we'll talk about it a little bit more in my final thoughts hold on final Thoughts time. So we are about to sunset Iceland week. This has really been a um, really fun week. And just like I said, it introduced me to so many new bands and artists and songs. And I've enjoyed every second of it. So regarding this song, 
Is it me or did this have a bit of a modern disco feel to it? To me, it did. Even the background vocals gave me that disco vibe at times, which I really like. It's very different from the other songs that I've reacted to over the last year or so. I'm a little surprised to hear that this band is no more because uh, it does appear to be packed with talent. And I'm wondering if they split up or did they go join other bands or if they're completely out of the music industry altogether? I hope not because there is, like I said, some serious talent here. This isn't a genre that I would normally listen to much, but I enjoyed it. So isn't that what it's about? <laughs> I love the change of pace that they threw in a couple times during a song. It kind of broke things up. I think the real highlight, though, of this song was the music. That driving yet relatively smooth beat really just kind of guided us through the song. And it was tragic that he dropped the ice cream cone. I don't know if you could really make that out. I got to figure out what to do here with these videos. I'm really trying to get my videos monetized. And there's got to be some tweak I could do to help me out on that. So I'm working on it, so bear with me. But he did drop the ice cream cone. But lo and behold, there was an ice cream, another ice cream cone to be had. So he was fine. So that's it, guys. That was Iceland Week. This is day six. I hope you really enjoyed it. I sure did. And I'm looking forward to doing some other weeks. So if any of you have a country, a theme, or anything like that that you're interested in me dedicating an entire week to, please let me know. I'm more than glad to look into it. And maybe we can, maybe we can make it happen. So as always, please remember, there's only one thing in life that's priceless, and that's life itself. So make every day count, okay? Peace out, you guys. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.